Good morning, everybody. Happy second week of Lent as we move forward. I want to talk a little bit with you this morning about the synod process that we've been participating with and uniting with the church throughout the whole world going through this. So Pope Francis called this as a process. He's calling it the synod on synodality, which I have to admit totally threw me when I first heard it. It's like, what is that all about? A lot of words that I'm certainly not familiar and I don't use regularly. And as you've probably heard, this whole process has been met with a lot of skepticism and cynicism. Um, I have to tell you, though, that walking through it with our parish, it's been a, a very, very positive experience. We've had probably 250 people, maybe more, um, go through the process now. We invited each of our ministry groups to do it with their own group of people. And then we had a gathering at the, in the church Saturday morning this past weekend. And the level of sharing that was going on, the thoughtfulness, the sincerity, um, the prayer that had obviously been behind the preparation showed really, really clearly. And a couple of things, I don't want to let the cat out of the bag yet, so to speak, um, and share what, what we've been hearing. But there has been some consistent themes that have been emerging from all of the groups already, uh, which I guess we shouldn't be surprised if this process is led by the Holy Spirit. Um, so the next phase on this, we'll have a survey in the bulletin on our e-news and on our website beginning this week, this coming weekend. Um, it'll give a chance for those who didn't participate in a group setting uh, to do it prayerfully and individually. We have a collection box in the back of the church for it. Um, you can also do it directly online. So one more way for you to get your input um, into this process. And I remind you, the process is about what we're calling synodality, the very process of gathering together, of listening to the Holy Spirit. It's not just listening to each other, but it's listening to the Holy Spirit and seeking his direction for the church, for our own lives, for the world that we live in. So it's not about voting on changes. It's not a democratic process in the United States that's going to lead us to some striking new direction for the church. You need have no fear of that. This is, this is about being church. And as you know, I'm a very pragmatic person. I like things that have direct purpose. Um, I'd much rather be a part of a process that has goal setting and that leads us to something very concrete that we can work towards. That's not what this process is about. This is simply about being church. It's about listening carefully to each other and primarily to the Holy Spirit and seeing what's going on, seeing how the, how the Lord wants to work in our midst. Um, I'm optimistic, I have to say, as I mentioned, the, the comments that I'm hearing have been overwhelmingly thoughtful and sincere and really, really well-spoken. Um, and my sense is the people who've participated in the process have found it stimulating and really gratifying, um, partly because we're a community of deep faith here at Holy Trinity, and just to be with each other and to have some thoughtful conversation with each other about really meaningful subjects, namely our faith community, is energizing all of its own. So God bless you all. Again, if you have participated, I thank you very, very much for your time and effort. Um, if you'd like to do it yet with the online, that's coming up very shortly. So God bless you for a good week. Let's continue to pray for each other, for our parish, and for our world community.